Good evening. I'm Bob Carroll, and welcome to The Next Step. So I say to you out there, the public, do you think you're ready for the next step?
Hi, this is Cece the Huntress. If you're in the market for an IR light, I suggest pumps.org. Please connect with Don Wagner. He's the best. He can make any IR light out there for you in all shapes and dimensions. In fact, we use them on Cece the Huntress and the next step. That's pumps.org. Hey, we're back again. And I'm excited because you guys have decided that we're going to start in the basement first. Um, so we're going to get this started and kicked off. Uh, sit back and enjoy. You guys ready? We're ready. Let's do it. We're ready to take the next step. What we have here is a, a bag that has partially charged batteries in it and the strobe lights around it. We're hoping that the spirits will be attracted to the batteries and we're going to ask the spirits to knock over a light if they can. So, so Brad, why don't you tell us, do you get anything down here? Um, immediately what I feel is, um, it seems, I'm not seeing a human energy, it's something that's more non-human. Okay. And it's unclear to me exactly what it is, and it's not a positive energy, it's more negative. But what direction, Brad? Right? right down that way. Okay, can you point out the energy that Brad's up? Can you point out your location? I'm going to stop the K2 meter right here. Oh, when you came down here earlier with the K2, you got nothing, right? No, you got nothing. No, no, no one, no two. Okay, the dozing rods confirm the same location that Brad gave us. Okay. Is there anybody here with us tonight? If, you, if you're here with us tonight, we're not here to harm you. And we're not here to, to ask you to move on. We're here really to find the truth. We just want to know, is somebody with us? If you're with us, there's a little green light right here. And the way you can tell us that is if you can light up those lights. And you can do that by simply passing your hand or walking in front of this meter. If you can light up three lights for us, then we'll know you're there. Can you light up three lights? We know you might not be friendly. Are you friendly? Are you unhappy that we're with you? Were you born in this house? If you want us to leave, knock on one of those flashing lights. If you communicate with us by knocking over a light, while lighting up this meter with the green light on it, we'll leave you alone. Yeah, it's just a, it feels, um, he's kind of moving, it feels like it's moving around a bit, um, Let's although try. it's not, you know, I'm not picking up anything human here. So. Let's try getting some stills to see if we get anything over around this corner right here. We know you're not happy that we're here, we understand that. 
we're asking you to try to communicate with us. Maybe you could touch one of us. Or knock off of one of these blinking lights for us. It doesn't take a lot of energy. And in the middle there, there's a bag full of energy for you. But you've got to tell us you're here. Try to light up this meter for us. If you want us to go away, we'll do that. Because we're not afraid of you. We're going to be here. Do you want us to go away? Knock over one of those flashing lights if you want us to leave. Were you born in this house? Was that you? Did you hear that banging? Matt, was that you? Uh, it wasn't me. It was something. Did you hear that? Huh? It sounded like a pipe. Was that you that just tapped on the pipes? It seems like these lights are actually... He's a little uncomfortable with the lights. He... Okay, you getting that sense? Yeah, I feel like it's... Keeping them quiet, actually. Okay, let's try shut the lights off and see what happens. If that was you that tapped before, tap again, Boris. Okay, we're still with you. Can you light up the meter that Matt has in his hand? Let us know you're here. I think you left that back room and came in here, didn't you? Are you trying to run from us? Are you trying to get away from us? You got something back there? It's like a middle-aged woman here. She's very thin. She's kind of tall. I'm seeing brown hair, um, a dress. Looks kind of old-fashioned. Um, let me see if I can pick up on her emotions. She seems... Um, her feeling feels um, depressed, sad. Lost. I hear the word lost. Um, she doesn't seem to be saying anything to me right now. You bring it to 68? 68, All right, you're at 68. Can you bring it lower for me? 65. Can you go to 65? Okay, you're at 68. Can you just lower it a little bit? Just bring the temperature down a little bit for us. It's 69 now. Bring it to 65 for us if you can. Can you bring the temperature down? There you go. All right, a little more now. Bring it down lower for me. Oh, you're going up. The temperature's rising. Do you want to make it hot in here? Is that what you want to do? Bring it to 71 degrees. If you want us to leave, bring it to 71. And we'll leave right away. 70. Can you bring it to 71? And then we'll know it's time for us to go. We'll leave you alone if you bring it to 71. That'll show us you want us to leave. 70.7. Go ahead. 71 and we'll leave you alone. And we won't come we back know this is you. We know you, you're trying to talk to us and you want us to leave. Bring it to 71 and we'll go. Come on, bring it to 71. Oh, we're not going to leave you. We're going to stay right here. 71.2. That's good. That's good. That's very good. Okay, you want us to leave. We're up here in the kitchen right now, and uh, we just left the basement, and Bob uh, has taken some EVPs, and now Bob wants to replay back just to see if he's got anything on, on, on the tape. So, go ahead, Bob, see what we got.
okay, and we said, well, when we come back, there was a definite knock on the tape. Really? Yes. So, so did you get the, you know that rapping we heard, it sounded like somebody rapped on the, oh. on the, uh, wait, wait, just for some. Metal? Did you capture that book? No. I heard bang over that room. The down over here? Down cellar. Down cellar? Yeah. Is it clear? No. Where were we? Is that room? Is it under here? Way over. This was the room we were just in. Okay. The room with the boiler is way over. Because that's where I heard that rap when we were in there. That was loud. Mr. Austin, just light up one light if it is. Charles Austin. Were you born in this house? Oops, sorry. Were you a farmer here? Did you farm this land years ago? Me? Would you like just me to leave this room? If you do, light up a light and I will leave. Because I'm not afraid of you. I don't think you're here. So you're going to have to light this meter up when you touch me. If you want to touch me, go ahead, because I'm not afraid. Mr. Rusty, just give us a sign if you want us to leave. It's right by the sink, actually. It is. Okay. Let me uh, let me set this up right by the sink. Yeah, well, I say it's a teenager, but my teenager, young woman. Is there a young girl with us in here? Brad's getting the sense that it's a girl. Were you the lady of the house at one time? There's a meter right here. It's not going to harm you, I promise you. It can't hurt you. But if you go near that meter, it's going to light up a light. I know there's a lot of people here, but we're not here to harm you at all. And if you can light up that light, we'll know you're here. Just one light is all I need. Good idea. Okay, right, Matt's going to put a flashlight on the floor, and it turns on and off by pushing the button. It's a lot of fun. See if you can turn that light on for us. If that's easier for you, just click the flashlight on and then click it off. It's right next to this machine here. It can't hurt you. Just touch the other side of the flashlight and it'll flash on. 
She doesn't seem to have a whole lot of energy. She just she seems to be just nodding. Can you move the fuck? Can you move the flashlight for us now? You turned it on. That's great. Can you turn it off for us? Can you turn it off? So she doesn't she's have a lot here. of energy. I she's just heard. Here. Did you hear her? No, she's here. I just heard her. That's great. Okay, we're here to help you. We're not here to harm you. Do you believe us? If you believe us, try to light that other meter up for us. It's just another thing to play with. It can't hurt you. We really appreciate you turning the flashlight on. Do Can you now turn it off? Don't rush. Again, and, um, what, what, what's happening right now is that, uh, we're, 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 we're getting so many different uh, vibes on the second floor that uh, the team has decided that uh, there was a little room that's up off the corner of the whole, the whole second floor. And um, they feel that uh, they want to they go in. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to this room. This, this room we get a lot of activity in. And Fred, tell us again about the magician that you get. Um, I'm seeing an, a relatively older man compared to the other human spirits. Um, he, I see him reading a lot of books, and I'm seeing mainstream science, but also metaphysical science. I'm seeing a lot of um, interest in Einstein, Albert Einstein, and I'm seeing a lot of work with rituals. I'm seeing different symbols, sigils that we've been using rituals. Um, and I'm seeing them smoking a pipe, and I see him reading a lot. So he's a scholar. Yes, yeah, he, he reads a lot of different subjects, history, but also like alternative stuff, but also mainstream stuff, and he combines it together. So what do you think, guys? Let's try this, okay? This is really out of the box, really high risk stuff. There's a rose right here, just sitting on a shelf, okay? Let's take this rose. Everybody witness this now. I'm going to put this rose down here. Okay? Let's see if he's with us and he's got magic spells. He likes magic. He knows how to do magic. If he can move that back up. Okay? So that's the challenge. Do you know what I'll do, Bob? I'll set up uh, the infrared camera and we'll record it. Okay. That way we'll, we'll be able to Great idea. see. We'll actually see it moving. Great idea. So if you're with us tonight, the other gentleman that Brad was talking to, and you like magic, we're going to give you a chance to perform magic for us. Okay? We're going to leave the room in a minute, and we've moved your rose on you. We've put it on the bottom shelf. And we'll give you a very simple, simple magic trick. Just move the rose to the top shelf where it was before. That's all we're going to ask you to do. And if we come back and that rose is moved, we won't ask you to do anything else. We'll know that you're the person that was here, that was the scholar, that loved mathematics, and you also, we know, love magic. So we're going to give you a chance to do a magic trick for us. All right, we're recording. You ready? Yeah. Okay, we're going to leave now. Just move that rose whenever it's convenient for you, and we'll check in later. We're going to the third floor, so uh, let's keep this growing.
team to compete. We've already had some EMF action in the K2. So, and then, was that you a second ago that tried to light that meter when I put it down? No one's going near it, so you're safe. We're not here to hurt you. But I think you tried to light that as I put it on the ground. Just light up one more light. That's all we need. We know you're with us. I'm also going to turn on the cell center. In this room, I feel that there's a combination of energies. I feel like there's two men arguing, but at the same time, there's an older energy of a woman that was sickly for a while before she passed away. And I'm thinking something about the heart, like a congestive heart failure. Um, but the, the more dominant energy is the two men arguing. Um, it feels violent, something being stuff being thrown, arguing. Okay, we're also doing a EMF sweep in the room while we're here. I'm not necessarily certain if it's conscious energy or if it's residual. Probably a combination of both. The older woman is conscious. Is what I mean by conscious is it's actually a, a spirit that's aware. So we've got an intelligent spirit? Again. Yeah. Okay, so we know we've got an intelligent spirit. We know you can communicate with us. I know there's a lot of us in this room. But don't be afraid of us, please. Um, I see them, but they're not necessarily communicating yet. But I can see them. So trust us that we're not here to hurt you. We're really here to prove that this is your house. And if you light up that meter for us, we'll leave you alone. But you have to communicate so we know. You can touch one of us if you'd like. We're not afraid of you. So don't be afraid of us. You tried, one of you has tried to light that meter when I put it down, so you know it's fairly easy to do. If you can give us one more light, that tells us you're with us. And we're really here to help you. We're not going to ask you to leave. We know this is your home. We're just interested in why you're still here. All right, Peter, or Pierre. The last time I was in, the first time I was in this room, my friend Leslie, you gave us a big sign that there was somebody here. Can you give us a similar sign? You know what I'm talking about, I'm not going to say it, so if you want to do it, do it. Get lot of them want to know you can. I know you can do it. Okay. Here's something. A little something. I'm making a little cool in front of my teammates. Okay, members. Can you say your name for the recorder? If we're bothering you, light up one of these meters here for us. Just light that light and we'll know that you want us to leave. Okay, let's try the down there. Peter or Pierre? If you're in the room with us, cross. If there was another spirit in the room with us, please cross. Not only in this room, but in, other, in the other rooms, it feels like people were sick up here. Sick? Sick, like ill and illness, because it, it would I feel like it feels like a run-down feeling, especially a weakness in the legs, um, like any of the flu, um, a fluish type of feeling, but I'm also looking at that with the older woman, too. Was this the sick sick room for the house, where the kid when he was sick and was sent to this room? Is that it? Did you see that one? In the other room? See, when the camera went by, there was no flash. I followed a white light right into here. I was actually, when I was sitting on the floor, it didn't look like I was doing too much. But a lot of times when you set up, uh, what you want to do is, is be able to see as much of everything as you can. 
So they were set up looking at the room. I was set up with my back against the wall, looking down the hallway. I thought I could see some shadows, but I wasn't quite sure. So uh, let's see if we can get any. Yeah, when we went into the room, there was a flash of light right here. Yeah. No cars went by, but I followed it. Bob and I followed it right into this room. But there were no cars going by at the time. We're up on the third floor, and uh, there's, there's just been all kinds of activity. So we're going to move back downstairs. This is this is pretty much coming to uh, the end of the investigation. But I told the guys that uh, because they were strong about doing one more thing in the basement that they really want to do, I'm going to give you a special treat by showing you their different techniques of what they use and how to bring the spirits out. So we're going to make one last stop and it'll probably only be for about five minutes. The library we're, first. we're going to make, oh, we got two stops, I'm sorry. We're going to make the library first and then we're going to make the basement. And then we're going to go back and uh, I'll sit down and, uh, and bring this to a close. But this has been exciting, so we'll see you downstairs. Back in the library. The rose is in the same place we left it. Doesn't mean it didn't move. So what we'll do during the wrap up and have evidence, we'll check out the camera that Matt had set up for us and see if we catch anything live on that. The rose is in the same place. Brad, are you getting anything in here? Um, well, right now as we're walking down the stairs and in here, and as he was, um, Bob was picking up on us a lot. I, I was picking up those anger. I feel a lot of uh, pressure on the temples. Okay. Um, and I had a lot of pressure pushing me back up the, up the stairs. Yeah, you tell the way you're going down, you, you were being pushed back. Matt, we did anything on a quick redo? Uh, just a quick. We just come from the library and we haven't got anything. It doesn't mean that, uh, you know, we're up here in the dark right now and uh, I better give them a chance to look back through the evidence. But we're going to hit the basement because they're going to try a new, uh, I shouldn't say a new technique, but they're going to show us one of the techniques that they use. And I think it's exciting for you guys to see, so we're going to try it, okay? Are you looking for great paranormal entertainment? Then look no further than GTN, the Ghost Tales Television Network. GTN hosts the brightest stars on today's hottest shows, like Simply Fearless with CC the Hunters, Ghost Tales the Series with the GTI crew, and The Next Step with Bob Carroll. GTN also provides its viewers with quality radio and film productions from Karen Miles, Christy Bradshaw, and Leah Scott Price. Come and check us out on the web at ghosttalestv.webs.com and venture into the unknown. It looks like the ball moved a little bit. It, uh, it looked like the ball when we first started was a little more towards the center. And... Uh, the reason we came back here was because I heard a thump. So we're having Kevin check his G sense just to see if if there was any movement at all. Actually, the reason I was heading towards the stairs is I thought I heard something that way. Well, you know, we're getting a lot of noises in the house tonight. Um, we're going to check once we get upstairs and see if we got any pictures of any orbs or anything like that. But but it's been an interesting night. And you got to remember something, folks. It's not always sometimes of, of what you may not get. It's just about getting out and being able to try to discover this. And, and so what we're doing is we're giving you that opportunity to, to show your skills. So are you ready for the next step? We're down in the basement, and uh, as I told you before, the group wanted to come down the basement and do something that I felt you guys should see because it's something different. And um, uh, you're going to find out what, what it's called when you provoke the, the energy out there. And you know, it's been an exciting night. And I tell you what, I just had to be able to give these guys an opportunity to show us what provoking the energy out there is all about. So you know what, I'm going to turn it back over to... The Northeast investigating North North Paranormal, paranormal North <laughs> Paranormal Investigator Northeast. And you know what? That's a tough name to say. So you know what? You try saying it three <laughs> times and then you tell me if I'm I'm going wrong. But hey, we're gonna let these guys continue. So here it is. 
Bob, Bob, Matt, Brad. Let's let's get it on. Let's do it, guys. Watch your head. Watch your head. Uh, what Bob is going to do is, we've been kind of reading down here before that he didn't. That what's happened with us doesn't like those strobe lights. We bothered him. So what we're really going to try to do is not something we recommend every team tries unless you really get some experience with it. But what we're going to try to do is provoke what's down here because we're getting somewhat of a, maybe a demonic or, or very least a very aggressive spirit down here that doesn't want us here. So sometimes in the field you've got to get, I don't want to say rude, but you've got to get a little tough and you've got to get a little aggressive here. And that's what we're going to do. Um, it's a technique that will work. It's the problem with the technique is we don't know how well it will work. So we don't know what to expect out of this. So we want all the investigators to be safe. Make sure that you, if you're getting any feelings. If Brad tells us this is going too far, we're going to stop it right away. So Brad, you are, you're key to this mm -hmm. as a tool for us. Okay. What we're going to ask you to do is to kind of take a minute, see if this spirit is still with us, see if it's still the aggressive spirit, and then our team will stop provoking it. You know what I'm first getting drawn to going to is over here, but over here, over here. Where's the right in that corner? Yeah. If you're here, it's time to show your face. Let us know that you're part of this or you're not. We think you're weak. You gotta stop hiding. You're hiding in a basement. You're weak. And you're holding you're not that woman here. Why don't you let the woman go? Huh? Come on. Well, you got four guys here. Not so tough now. Take are one you? of us on. You could push us. You could touch us. Slap us. I don't think you Knock have. Knock over a strobe light if you don't like them. You're not tough. See, that's the problem. Everybody's afraid of you, but you can't do anything. I'm see. What I'm getting is, it feels like it gets intimidated when it gets attacked. If we were afraid, it would probably come out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you schoolyard bully, huh? Yeah, bully. Yeah. Well, why not the little kids? Come on. Last time we were here, you tapped. Tap again. If you tap, we'll talk nice to you. No way, Walt. That's the only way it's going to happen. If you tap, you let us know you're here. Cowards hide. That's what they do. They hide in corners and basements. Are you a coward? Are you afraid to let us know you're here? Can you come out and push us? Pull us? Tell you what, you want to just take one of us? You want everyone else to leave and one of us will stay here with you? Where are you at? You want to go one on one? Where are you at? Come on. That's me. That's me. That's you. You want to go one on one? So now we're all separated. You can come after any one of us. We're ready. We're down here at your level. We're not a group anymore. We're all separated from each other. So you want to get aggressive, get aggressive with me. I'm not afraid of you at all. You want to get aggressive with me? Do something. Stop hiding in corners. If you think you own this basement and it's your place, let me know that. There's four corners. You can take any one of us on right now. It gives you a chance to be a tough guy. Okay, you got two minutes. That's what you got left. Okay. If we don't hear something in two minutes, we're never going to bother with you again. We're not going to waste our time. Come on, Matt, put a challenge out to you. Yeah, come grab me. You don't even have to come out and show your ugly face. All you have to do is grab his arm. Pull me in. Just touch his arm. That's all you have to do. Before we close this up, these you guys what take are doing a new uh, technique that I've there. seen. And uh, it's, it's provoking the spirits. And before it's all said and done, when we finally take it back upstairs for the interview, the, the, to close this show out, I just want to let you know that uh, uh, I don't recommend this to anybody. Uh, this, these guys are skilled at doing this. So, you know, um, if this is how you want to learn 
the technique, then uh, you know you'll have to look up and uh, find these guys because I'm sure they're on the internet, uh, and you can contact them and ask them their techniques. So, listen, this is uh, quite frightening. Ghosts and Legends of the Merrimack Valley, written by C.C. Carroll. Hunt yourself down a copy. cchuntress.com or historypress.net. Bob.
Good evening. I'm Bob Carroll, and welcome to The Next Step. So I say to you out there, the public, do you think you're ready for The Next Step?